Hi everyone, this is Angie from AngieExcels.com. Today I'm gonna go over about uh, VLOOKUP for today's tutorial. So VLOOKUP is one of the mostly used lookup and reference function in Excel. Um, I'm not gonna go over lookup and reference in this video, but um, if you've read my blog, you know briefly what it means if you don't know or haven't read my blog, please go to www.angieexcels.com and look for blog number two, VLOOKUP. So I want to go over, you know, why should I use VLOOKUP or when should I use VLOOKUP and its syntax and argument. And then I want to go over a practice data set that I have so you guys can see visually, um, you know, how it works. So. When should I use VLOOKUP? So VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. So use it when your data is organized vertically instead of horizontally. And what I mean by that is, for example, if column A is full of uh, names and column B is full of phone numbers, your data is organized um, vertically instead of horizontally. Now, if you flip it, let's say uh, row one is full of names and row two is full of phone numbers, then that data is organized horizontally. Okay, so use VLOOKUP uh, when your data is organized uh, by a column instead of a row. And also use VLOOKUP when your lookup value is to the left of the return value. Um, if you use something else, it could work, but it depends. And I will go over uh, on the next tutorials the uh, most commonly used lookup and reference functions. Um, but let's say your data set, uh, let's say that your data set is organized in a way where your return value is to the left of the lookup value that won't work so uh so just note that when the with the vlookup the lookup value has to be always to the left and the return value has always to has to be to the right okay so what is vlookup syntax and argument so syntax is just basically the grammar of the uh, of the vlookup it's the makeup of that function so it's lookup value, table array, call index num, and range lookup. So I know it's kind of scary looking, especially for those who uh, haven't used VLOOKUP before or this is your first time seeing this function. But I think the key is to understand what each argument tells you or asks you to do. Okay, so lookup value is the reference value that you have available and want to look up. Table array is the data or table where the values are located. Call index num actually stands for column index number. It is the location of the return column from the lookup value. And then range lookup is optional. So if you want an exact match, you can just leave it blank or enter zero. If you want an approximate match, enter one. Okay, so where to find VLOOKUP and how does it work? So I will show you guys using this practice data set where to find uh, VLOOKUP and how does it work. And we're going to go over option A and option B. So option A is a little bit longer, but uh, if this is your first time seeing VLOOKUP or Excel, um, uh, go for the longer route until you're comfortable with um, using this function, okay? So if you guys look here, this is my data set. So this is my table array, okay? And these are the questions that I have, but I'm gonna go over just number one. And it asked me, what is TK rocks number? Okay, so the lookup value that I have is TK rocks because that's what I know. If you, like, for example, if you go to a phone book, right, and you look for someone's number, you don't look for the number. You actually look for the name of that person or that restaurant 
to know the number. So in this case, your lookup value is the name and your wanted return value is the phone number. Okay, so I'm going to answer it here on cell D13. Okay, so I'm going to go for the longer route. So this is option A. So you go to formulas, okay, lookup reference, VLOOKUP, okay, and this box will show up and it asks you what's the lookup value, in this case TK rocks, what's the table array, so table array is where is this value located at, right? So if you have a phone book question, then you look at the phone book. Okay, so in this case, this is my phone book. Column index number is the number of the location of your return value. Okay, from your lookup value. Does that make sense? So in this case, your lookup value is the name, your return value is the cell number. So column A is number one, column B is number two. So your column index number is two. And the range lookup, I can just leave that as zero or blank because I want the exact match. If you're gonna call someone, you don't want, you know, just an approximate number, right? Especially if you actually want to talk to that person um, I don't know, I haven't found an instance where I use an approximate match. Uh, I've always used exact match, um, but if you need an approximate, approximate match, you can enter one. But like I said, in this case, I'm going to enter zero. Okay, and then you just hit OK, and there you go. There's the return value. There's the phone number. Okay, so that is the longer way that's option a okay now i'm gonna go option b option b is a lot faster you just have to know like i said earlier um and what is being asked and you just have to be familiar familiarized with the function so i'm just gonna delete that and then answer it in the same column so you just type in equals v lookup open parentheses the lookup value is DK rocks. Table array is our little phone book right here. Column index number is two. Um, I want an approximate. I am sorry. I want an exact match. And then close parentheses. Enter. And there you go. That's it. So there's the lookup for you. I know it's a little bit short, and uh, that's perfect purposeful. I just want you guys to get familiarized with uh, the function and practice, you know, excellence, get it? <laughs> Doesn't um, come overnight. You just have to practice and get yourself familiarized with the uh, function with Excel. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Uh, if you haven't uh, read my blog, please go to www.angexcels.com and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. I go over Excel functions and tips, professional de development, and other things that I've been learning. So yeah, happy learning!